Hi everyone, Aiden here at The Trailer. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Swivel Marine Trailer Jack from Dutton Lanson. It's gonna be a great option for a replacement jack on your boat trailer. It offers a caster wheel on the bottom and the ability to swivel it up out of the way, giving you additional ground clearance whenever you're driving and hooked up to your truck or your vehicle. Now, the overall operation of this is quite smooth. The handle swivels around and offers more than enough grip for my hands to get a comfortable seat on the handle. Raising and lowering it feels smooth on both ends. And you get 10 inches of travel. It'll sit up 13 inches at the lowest point and 23 inches at the highest point. Now, as I lower it onto our jack stands here to simulate being hooked up to a vehicle, you'll see the caster wheel lift up. We've got a pull pin right there that we can pull out and it'll swivel to the side. Just making sure that that caster wheel doesn't get caught up on your trailer frame but this lets it swing up and out of the way to improve our ground clearance. Now with it like this, you still have the ability of this caster wheel to maybe dangle down a bit, even though you can move that up out of the way a bit more. And then the handle eventually will probably work its way down here. So that is still a low point. Some of the Fulton jacks that I've worked with have a method of actually keeping the handle brought up against the jack right here so that it stays put in this position, giving you the best ground clearance possible whenever you are driving. So for me, I would like to see something like that, but it's not the end of the world. It's just a small piece of the jack. The most moving parts and all the really important bits are still gonna be up and out of the way, giving you that better clearance. Now you can see it's a bolt-on installation, working with trailer frames up to three inches wide and five inches tall. This does have a 1,500 pound weight capacity, so keep that in mind as you're picking this out for your trailer that it can handle the weight of whatever you're putting it on. If you need something with a little bit more weight capacity, you can certainly find those options here at eTrailer. That casting reel at the bottom is going to be an eight inch diameter, and it's gonna be two inches wide. That's going to be a pretty wide base and be able to work pretty smoothly too. The rotation and everything is pretty solid. We've got it chalked up right now, so I don't have a whole lot of room for movement, but I think it's gonna hold up pretty well over time. It is more of a plastic construction, so maybe not the most durable thing long-term, but I do think with the large diameter and width, it should be able to handle rough terrain fairly okay. And the overall construction of the jack is going to be steel with a zinc plating, which is good because that's gonna give our maximum corrosion resistance since it's going to be in and around water. And as for the installation, like I said, it's just a bolt-on install. So it's very straightforward, comes with all the hardware you need. All you need is a 9 16th inch wrench or socket, and then you can get yourself going. Let's check it out. Now the first step in your installation is gonna be removing your old jack if it already isn't removed. Then for the new jack, we're gonna do a little bit of pre-assembly just to help make the installation easier. Now on the back mounting plate of the jack and the brackets that come with it, you'll notice that one hole is offset from the rest that's going to be our top. Then we can take the provided bolts, feed them through the mounting plate, and then get the mounting bracket on the back, loosely attached, facing out like that, and attach a lock washer and a nut, just hand tight right now, on both of the top mounting hole locations this loosely installed, we can drop it over our trailer frame and it will help hold itself in place. Now, I could have tightened this a lot more just to make it sit a little bit more snug, but at this point, you can get your other hardware loosely installed, tighten up these top ones a little bit more to make it hold itself in place a bit better. Now the hardware on the bottom is gonna be the exact same as up top, passing the bolt through the front finding the holes that align best for the tightest fit around your trailer frame, and then getting it secured on the other side with that lock washer and nut. We can then come back through with a 9 16 inch wrench and socket and get all the hardware tightened down, going back and forth on each side to get them tightened down nice and even. And once it's all tightened down, I usually like to give it a good shake test and make sure that none of the clamps or the hardware is shifting around. Everything looks pretty good. And then you might wanna do this before you tighten it down, but just be sure to check and make sure that it can swivel where you want it to on your trailer and that you have clearance 
from the other parts on your trailer. But at this point, we can lower the jack down. If you chose to hook up to your vehicle to keep the trailer suspended in the air at this point, whenever you've got this on the ground, you can unhook from your vehicle and you'll be good to go. And that'll do it for a look at an installation of the Dutton Lanson Swivel Marine Trailer Jack. Overall, I think it's a really solid option for your boat trailers. It's smooth operation. It's got a really nice large caster wheel and Dutton Lanson always makes a good product, so I'm a big fan. Thanks for watching.